Good Wednesday morning, everybody. This is Steve Monday, Chief Forecaster for Rowan County Weather. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on weather-wise around the area this morning. We've got 68 degrees outside currently, mostly cloudy skies around the area. And depending on where you are around the county, it's the upper 60s to low 70s, depending on your location. And the same holds true for around the uh, area as well, 61 degrees and boom, the cool spot on the map. And I'm seeing some 73s out there around the, uh, around the area. And then 75 seems to be the warm spot down there in Charlotte. There are some scattered showers and thunderstorms off to our south and southwest and rain chances will increase as we get to the late afternoon and early evening hours this afternoon and evening so we'll certainly keep you updated on that could see anywhere from a half an inch to three quarters of an inch of rainfall for some areas with some higher amounts possible with uh, thunderstorms so we'll continue to keep you updated on that so there's a couple of areas I want to keep you aware of one is the uh, system that's been down in the gulf of mexico that's been kind of going back and forth for the last few days trying to get organized. A little bit better organization today. This system now has a 50% chance of becoming a named storm. Uh, so we'll, we'll keep you updated on that, but it certainly could bring some rain chances uh, to the area as we head into next week. We'll continue to watch on that. And then Larry continues to chug along out in the Atlantic, but the storm continues to be a non-issue for us other than some rough surf along the Carolina coastline and this storm is expected to continue to move north through the Atlantic and eventually take kind of a northeast turn uh, and wiggle along the uh, coastline up into uh, the Nova Scotia area as we go through the next few days into the next week. So something to keep an eye on there, but again, no real concern for us. Let's go ahead and take a quick break. We're gonna get a word from our friends at Patterson Farm about the corn maze. Uh, coming up out there on the farm this fall season. And then we'll be back with the five-day forecast and more right after this. Hi, it's Michelle Patterson here at Patterson Farm Market and Tours. And we're so excited to reveal our 2021 corn maze design, which is Visit North Carolina Farm. We hope you and your family will visit us here at Patterson Farm Market and Tours this fall. For more information about our fall events, please check out our website at visitpattersonfarm.com and we hope to see you here at the farm. Weather impacts for today sponsored by Patterson Farm, the fall educational school tours coming up September 17th through November 5th. Uh, for more information on booking your tour, visit pattersonfarm.com. All kinds of activities going on out there. You just saw the details on the corn maze. Uh, they've also got the pumpkin patch coming up as well as we get closer to the uh, Halloween holiday and then also uh, the market out there with some fresh from the farm produce and all kinds of other goodies you can purchase to take home with you as well. We'll see partly sunny skies during the morning hours today. Winds will be out of the south southwest at around five to ten miles an hour. Scattered showers and thunderstorms possible late afternoon and during the evening hours and we can see rainfall amounts of a half an inch to three quarters of an inch with localized higher amounts due to thunderstorms. The tropical cyclone names, we continue to keep an eye on those. As I mentioned, Larry's continuing to chug along out there in the Atlantic, still no real concern to us, but the system in the Gulf has a 50% chance of becoming a named storm. And if it does, it will likely become Mindy unless something were to pop up uh, out of nowhere and become a named storm faster, uh, that one would likely become Mindy. So we'll continue to keep you updated on that. The Pollen Outlook sponsored by Good Nights Lawn Care. These guys take care of my lawn and I love it. They offer services like mowing, trimming, seeding, mulch, pine straw, and more. For more information on services provided, give them a call, 980-521-1937. Main pollen drivers are grasses, cheetah pods, and ragweed. We've got high levels of pollen today, Thursday, and Saturday, with extreme levels likely on Friday and Sunday. The mowing forecast looks pretty good overall. I'd say you've got until around 4 o'clock this afternoon to get it done. Around 4 o'clock, those rain chances really start to pick up. So we'll continue to keep you updated on that as we go through the day today. Uh, but then if you don't get it done today, you've certainly got Thursday and Friday to take care of it as well. 
The mosquito forecast has high levels of activity today, Thursday and Friday with medium levels likely on the weekend. So we'll certainly take that. And then the five day forecast sponsored by SA Sloop Heating and Cooling built on integrity. Give them a call 704-857-5684. Visit them on their website, www.sasloop.com. Mention you saw they sponsor the forecast on Rowan County weather. They'll give you $25 off your first time service call. Today we'll see partly sunny skies, high of 87, low of 66, 60% 60 chance of showers and thunderstorms this afternoon and evening. We'll keep continue to keep you updated on that. On Thursday, we'll see partly sunny skies, high of 82. I do have a 20% chance of isolated showers possible during the morning hours. Basically, some lingering effects from the front coming through today that will bring the shower and storm activity. And then we'll see a low of 57 with partly cloudy skies Thursday evening. On Friday, sunny skies, high of 84 with partly cloudy skies. Friday evening, a low of 56. Saturday, we'll see sunny skies, high of 84, with clear skies Saturday evening, a low of 57. And then Sunday, sunny skies, high of 88, clear skies Sunday evening, and a low of 60. If you're looking for ways to stay updated with Rowan County weather at any time, you can visit us on our website, www.rowancountyweather.com. You can follow and like us on our social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can also check us out on cable television, WSRG TV in Salisbury. It's available on Hotwire Channel 394, Spectrum Channel 16. We'll keep you updated there as well. For now, enjoy your Wednesday. And as always, thank you for following Rowan County weather.